the story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. Reynard's house is just up the beach. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. see them. Oh, poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now.
Kiora, uh, Ari from Kiwi Repair here. Uh, don't know when you folks are back in town, but uh, give me a shout so I can swing by and uh, fix that pesky bathroom ventilation system for you. <laughs> we can't have the whole house smelling a nail polish now, can we? <laughs> uh, and anywho, like I said, uh, just give me a shout. That's Ari, uh, the repair guy. found something. Looks like research reports. Berlin, Shanghai. Every major malicious strike since Thomas Cross's kidnapping. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. All in the past, I'm afraid. Keep looking, 47. 47, that computer. See if you can't access it. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels, 47. Should be interesting. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage two, 47. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. Oh, I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know.
Jared, tear us all clear. Copy that. Do a sweep of the upstairs while you're at it. I knew you were gonna say that. And I have nothing to report from my current location. Over. Do you read? We have a slaughterer on site. Consider the property extremely Man, compromised. Do you read me? Over. Orchard's been neutralized.
Jeez! Come on, hit me, hit me! And I have nothing to report for my current living. And I have nothing to report from my current location. Over. No sign of the target on the terrace. Over. Roger, command. Nothing tangible yet. Still looking. 
Will do. Out. Command, I have nothing to report from my current location. Roger, Command. Nothing tangible yet. Still looking. Will do. Out. No sign of the target on the tech. You accountable for this mess? Yeah, you, Mr. Shifty. Look at me. Don't move a muscle, buddy. Hey! Last warning, asshole! Oh, no, you don't! Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property.
The Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. to get past them unnoticed. I suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one. The client has given us carte blanche. Hunt down the militia by any means necessary. A week ago, Providence was a threat. How did you swing the board? The board are practical people, 47. A blank check is hard to turn down. Besides, the Shadow Client's war on Providence is causing a global panic. We'll need to stop the militia. Might as well be us. And the man on the train? told them about his offer. Taking a contract for personal gain is against ICA regulations. Sodas would have been proud. Is that a sense of humor, 47? Whatever next, crying at the movies? Why are you doing this? I know what it's like to have everything taken from you. He claims to know about your past. Your childhood, your memories, everything Ortmeier stole from you. And you trust him? About as far as I can throw him. But this is our best lead in 20 years. I say it's time we break a few rules. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. 
His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but luckily, the fear of being next put on the Shadow Client's hit list has a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. Sir, if you want to come through, I'm going to have maybe? to pat you down. Don't worry, folks. Excuse Anything. me. You're not allowed here, you know. I'm glad we speak the same language. Hi there. Welcome. Okay. Thank you, sir. This, uh, this will be over in no time. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you.
Time to make your move. Dressed as a mechanic, you're now allowed inside the Kronstadt pit. I suggest you talk to Grace Miller, chief mechanic. She could probably use some extra hands. security guards. Some of them may work out you don't quite belong. Use the crowds to hide in if needed. There are several ways to go about this. I suggest finding a pneumatic wrench.
dirty job you got there. Sierra's coming in. Everyone on your stations, now! Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. today and join Sierra and the team. Kronstadt Industries. Getting information that we're closer to the ceremony, but not quite there yet. Just saw the actor Jamie St. Remington in the press room, by the way. Those of you older race fans might remember him from such films as Russian Reno and Daytona Drivers Club.
five gold-rimmed boxes. The once minor Delgado cartel has risen to the Rico Delgado, and lately the cartel. has been identified as FBI most wanted bomb digger Sean Rose. A group of local children named the police and find close to an abandoned apricot farm, which according to sources at the FBI, may have Good, so not good. Let's run this test. You're sure you fixed all outstanding issues? Hmm, hang on, 47. Robert Knox's calendar shows a meeting with a Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the US military. It must be related to that robot. Maybe you can find Mendez somewhere.
That is Robert Knox, genius inventor, black market's weapons dealer, and Providence defector. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat>
swear to God. This hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. The identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the militia strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge with equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision-makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colombia, 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47.
Paula, I am heading down to the village to check on the statue. I'll be back later. Coming down to us, dirty villagers to unveil some ridiculous statues. Sure, I wish to follow. Does that foundation look entirely stable to you? Well, I'm not Mason, but no, no, it doesn't. So, the ever-classy Rico Delgado has commissioned a statue of himself to adorn the village square. Entonces, Javier is seeing his boss's daughter. He's told me not to tell anyone. So you know, don't tell me no. Gosh darn. What's up, man? Sit down. Relax. The universe will correct itself again, right? I don't know, man. I've been, like, smuggling this cocaine souvenir around the world, right? Franco. Keep your wits about you, soldier. Muchas gracias por su trabajo.
That is Andrea Martinez, the Delgado Cartel PR officer and public face. Soldado. The least we can do. God. Oh. 
Martinez is down. Good work. I let you know. Don't try to mess. Get your ass out here, nice and quiet. Oh, please play class. can come in. Hola, jardinero.
Please, you need to leave now, for your own safety. Oh my god, yes! Yes, of course! What should I do? What's happening? Interesting office setup, 47. If I'm not mistaken, Rico's looking to add some tattoo work to his already substantial collection. That is Rico Delgado, head of the Delgado drug cartel. So, this is La Guapa. This baseball bat was for a long time, my sister. You may notice a few dead young holes here and there. As I told you, the creator is for a long time. And the bat was used as a sewage layer. For the American scene, he tried to take it. I jumped behind the car just as the angel was down the track. Please go away. I'm talking to the health manager. Oh, 
keep up the good work. up with the boys. Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. See him? We need more guys. Hey, you there? Come in! We got a whole fucking cemetery. What's that? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm still looking.
can't wait to tell my friends about that. That is Jorge Franco, the Delgado Cartel's chief chemist. All targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, 47. Now head for an exit. Can you see him?
Columbia assignment successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message, encrypt and send. source checks out. We can prove the board knew about the chemical leaks. We'll have grounds for a retrial. It won't make a difference. They're too powerful. They're not the devil, Nancy. Just the company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! Got what we came for. Move out. Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate, better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Carle slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown. But we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shah, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare.
Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. Hey, excuse me. You know who Gregory Arthur is, right? The famous American actor? Have you seen him around the city? No? Please tell him to come see me if you do. He's got a photo shoot inside the tower, and Mr. Rangan does not like to wait around. Gregory Arthur, a famous Broadway star, is apparently late for a photo shoot inside Rangan's unfinished tenement tower. Hang on. He uploaded a selfie on social media about half an hour ago. Hmm. The Mumbai Food District. He's likely still there, 47. I'm picking up Gregory Arthur's cell phone signal. He's close by. Comes the vomit train. Gotta find somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 47, that's the Maelstrom. You found him. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Let's finish this one. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. Can you hear me? There's some random guy. I think he's been attacked. Interesting look, 47. Well, Darwood Rangan is at the tower expecting Mr. Arthur any minute now. No need to keep him waiting.
See what you have in your pockets today. Gotta get Friss first. This is supposed to be a construction site, right? Public kidare. Where the hell is everybody? I don't know, but I heard Mr. Dawood send somebody to dig a swimming pool while the filming goes on. Fuck you, dear. Swimming pool, my ass. You know what the problem is? We just can't get proper work. All right, everyone, take five. I need a few moments. Mr. Arthur, over here. Mr. Arthur. I'm here. Excellent. This means we can get on with it. Good. Good. Blundering frights. I thought it was a brilliant performance in a very funny horror comedy. Oh, thank you. You know, my brother directed it. <laughs> I'll be sure to let him know you liked it. Hmm. He didn't do very well, but, but I understand it has become something of a cult classic in Europe. I think it's a misunderstood masterpiece. The camera work alone is magnificent. I mean, obviously, I'm a little tainted by my profession, but I think everything from the lighting to the cinematic tools used was just amazing. Is it true it's based on the Cassandra Snook books? Well, yes, I suppose so. How's everyone? Ready for the photo shoot? I know I am, so let's do this. Great. Folks, let's all get into position for the big photo. Oh. Well, show me those teeth now. This is a big moment. Final rush. Everyone has to try. So, Miss Hassan, I guess you're ready for another round of Mumbai Hero soon. I've got big plans for us. Hmm? Big plans. I'm sure you do. 
I think you will need to talk to my agent about that. Ah, agents, I never did like them. Deco, I prefer the more direct approach. Acha. Well, I'm hopefully picking up some international roles soon, so my availability may be limited. I see. Well, I certainly hope nothing should happen that would prevent you from pursuing your goals, Miss Hassan. Great work. Now, if we could do a few shots of just Mr. Arthur and Miss Hassan, please. Arthur and Hassan? As if they're that important. I suggest we do another round of solo shots of the guy who gets first billing. Me. <laughs> if you say so, Mr. Rangan. <laughs> I do, I do say so. Come, come. Shoot. Oh, Gregory, stick around, huh? I want to talk to you when I'm done here. All right, people, get off the stage. It's time for the big guy to do his magic. Excellent, 47. It looks like Rangan wants a private word. Like I suggest you humor the man. Beautiful, Mr. Rangan. Well, maybe this way is good, huh? The women really like this pose. Are <laughs> when I pull up this look? All housewives in a two-mile radius will faint automatically. You're a natural at this, Mr. Rangan. All right. I think that's enough beauty shots for one day. Great. That's a wrap, then. Champagne for everyone. Are Mekero, great things will come from this movie, guys. Let me tell you, I've got a feeling that this one is the one. That will make me famous. You know, it just goes to show that hard work and dedication is what is needed in this business, yeah. You know, I got the champagne from a movie business contact. You know, he was so impressed. Hey, have an okay day, okay? He just insisted on sponsoring the party, yeah. Famous film director in America. Yeah, I might go there next week to talk about distribution deals for Mumbai Hero. Mr. Rangan, you wanted to see me. Ah, Gregory. Yes, yes. Come with me upstairs. I have something important to talk to you about. Gregory, Gregory. As you know, there's a lot at stake with a production like this. Hmm? Everyone needs to play ball. We are on the same team after all. But it's important to establish a pecking order. Soon, all of Mumbai will be mine. I'm sure you can imagine what that means. Okay, Gregory. I just need my friend here to pat you down. Don't want any recording devices or things like that accidentally going off. Hmm? I'm sure you understand. If you want to come through this way, I'm going to have to do a quick pat down. Funny, my mother always said I had good hands. Said I should have been a surgeon. And you are good to go, sir. Thank you. Big deal back in America. But the thing is, 
अरे हेल्प मी ऑलरेडी समबडी आई डोंट डाउट रैंगन is confirmed killed just one target left let's bring this one home Not so fast there, pretty boy. Kuch mila kya? Did you have any luck? No, that tailor is impossible. I explained to his employee that Miss Shah wants to meet with him, but he claimed that the tailor wasn't available. So you didn't just go inside and look? Only the royal guard can do stuff like that. I'm sure Miss Shah will send someone with more hands-on experience than me. He's the only tailor in town that can make that damn dress. That's what happens when you. It appears Vanya Shah is in the market for a dress fit for a queen. On all the other. You there, sir? Please. Oh, Vikram, what are you going to do? Listen, I, I have to go out for a while. If anyone asks for me, just tell them I'm not here. Excellent. Let's find out what kind of dress a woman like Vanya Shah wants. Shah wants a cerulean dress, 47. 
Perhaps you will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market. So, he's just hiding in there now? Yeah. Shah sent someone over to talk to him, but he refused to come down. You? Did you bring the cloth from this ship? Yes, I have it right here. About bloody time! Come with me! Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not to worry. If you want to pass, you need to be frisked first. Is that a problem? Hold that position. We'll be done in no time. Go on ahead. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't. Disappoint her then. That is a good idea. Hey. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. I know. Yes, here we are. She stopped, Just go through there. I understand. But yes. Uh, this is really uncomfortable, sir. I can smell you. Here we are. Just go through there. The queen is waiting for you in the garden. I know that perhaps that is not the wise decision to make when in a financial situation such as yours. Of course, eventually you'll have extra hands to assist you with your income. That is Vanya Shah. Self-appointed queen of that the Mumbai the slums. Raji is not well. Five years, Mr. Hussein. Five, five years, my queen. Yes, five additional years of servitude to your queen, for you and your wife. In exchange, I will take care of the bills for your new one until she is old enough to work the spinning months. That is my offer, Mr. Hussein. Talk it over with your wife. I expect your acceptance tonight. Good day. Ah, the elusive tailor. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure the color is the right one. Yes, of course. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. Smart work, 47. Shah will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final execution up to you. You there. Leave us. I want some privacy. Let's start the measuring right away. If you didn't bring a tape, I'm pretty certain one of the other tapes left this behind. You can use that. Relax your back, please, Miss Shah. I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Shah. Turn around, please, Miss Shah. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder.
Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this. We both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. We were going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. 
I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. What Maya was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died, civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice, but I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the Constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow client. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. 
Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail, a Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven, I have marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. Oh, jeez, darling, I'm so hungry. Have you seen those beautiful patties back there? And Mr. Wilson just keeps standing behind the grill. I feel you are violating my personal space. Oh, geez, darling, I'm so hungry. Have you seen those beautiful patties back there? And Mr. Wilson just keeps standing behind the grill, even though there's clearly no more gas on it. I know, it's weird. Why doesn't he go grab a new canister? I'm telling you, these new folks are strange. Did you see that Cassidy guy snooping around here? He's been looking at the party three times already. Why not just go inside? It's open to everyone. Yeah, it's strange. The Wilsons are throwing a barbecue and everyone's invited. It sounds like Nolan Cassidy has some interest in the party as well, but for some reason, he's unwilling to go inside. All right. Oh, maybe he's a vegan. Now, I don't trust a man who can't eat a rare steak. Just a bit desaturated. Hey, did you grab the pack of smokes that was thrown over the fence from the old guy's yard? No. All kinds of stuff. Ah, well. So, Janus smokes despite being dependent. Well, 
can't breathe with the help of your own lungs. Okay, everything's good. not an ordinary resident of Whittleton Creek 47. This must be one of Cassidy's men working undercover. I suggest you keep an eye out for more of them. the same way I do. Well, Richard and I have similar interests, so it's really not that hard to get him to go along with my ideas. Although, I have to say, it's been challenging to find a good place for my old microfilm viewer. Right now, it's just collection dust and the attic. Microfilm? Department. Richard, you are such a fool! How could you forget the class? So the other day I accidentally asked James about that urban big mistake. Big mistake. <laughs> Haven't you learned anything yet? How long did he talk for? Oh, I can't really be sure. I'm zoned out eventually. It's not as bad as that time I used the ground phone for the house though. Man, that tune kicked off some old memory. Long ass story. He dragged me down to the basement and showed me all this memorabilia. You know how it was. Interesting. Maybe you should try to spark some of those old stories, 47. Who knows what secrets Janus might reveal? Well, I've learned my lesson.
Is that? Janus, Cold War spymaster and the first Providence Constant. I wonder how much he remembers, how little he cares. Like an easy way out for a man like him. Still, we are close now, 47. these wonderful muffins. Oh, I'd love to, my darling, but I've got to do some sewing. Janus has a dressing gown that needs a few touch-ups, and he's getting anxious. Apparently, he needs it for something soon. You seem to have so the many things The robe for Janus. What could he need that for? Oh, when you retire, I Yeah. 
November to the over. No way. That's all. robe of some sort with a note from Janus attached. Hmm. The note is interesting. Janus has asked Helen to do a few repairs on the robe before he leaves for his annual trip. He even put a date there. This is valuable information, 47. Have a nice day. Oh, I have to tell you, hmm, these are the best muffins I ever had. I was supposed to meet a client for a house show today, but <laughs> I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him, Mr. Nola Cassidy. Uh, can't say that I do. Well, he's uh, a realtor with a taste for the sweet. Good afternoon, sir. I see a lot of blueberries. But would you believe I've never seen a blueberry bluer than in your eyes? Well, if these muffins are as fresh as you, I'll have to come back for more. Me out of the office fridge yesterday. He's just thinking over. 
hi. Uh, whatever. Hi there. Welcome to Granny's. We guarantee that you'll never reach for a factory treat again. Actually, I'm in the neighborhood right now. I've been working on some very promising leads. Yep. No! Just quit it. You're gonna kill someone. Will somebody please help me? Hello? I think we've got a problem. You need to help me right now. Hey, what's going on? There's this rabid bastard strangling people. You have to deal with him. Please. Okay, enlighten me here. Do you have a description? I don't know. I, I didn't get a proper look at him. Okay, thank you, thank you. You've done your part. Now leave it to the pros. Stocked up on body bags. Hey, 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 get up. Hey, hey, slow. You get up. You got away. How are you? And, uh, who might you be? I don't know you. Hey, you! Hey, Dimwit. My pocket. Fine. I, I don't know, maybe I could bring some. What? Let's 
restroom. Restroom now. Why don't you go sell a house somewhere else? Oh. Mr. Cassidy, oh. I'm sorry for the delay. I'm ready to take you to the house. About time. Let's go. You know which one it is, right? Last one on the right, far end of the road. I hope you've got your presentation in order. I don't want this to be a waste of time, you understand me? Of course, Mr. Cassidy. Finally, I've had my eye on this place for quite some time. Let's see what sort of secrets she holds. This is the downstairs living room. It is most commonly used for watching television and other recreational purposes. Large room, with two easy to get to exits. Dark floors, hide stains easily. A room with Lots of potential. Yeah, but that's not gonna make me buy this place. Let's move on. This is the downstairs bathroom. Useful when cleaning off after a messy day of work. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it in here. What else can you show me? The kitchen, gas stove, vinyl floors, which can be quite slippery when wet. Along with the bathroom, the kitchen is the most dangerous room in the home. I don't know. Got anything more interesting to show me? It's all very familiar.
And here's the basement. The usual boiler elements are to be found down here. And it seems a room with a safe of some sort. Now that is more like it. That looks just like a vault. This... this is very interesting. I'll just wait here till you get that door open. Nice work, 47. Let's hope he doesn't set off the alarm somehow. Frank, go outside and check the garden. I want to know how visible this vault is from the outside. Anything sticking out of the ground, weird sloping things like that. You got it, sir. So you're looking to sell this for, uh, how much was it again? One. Yes, now this is more like it. This I can use. Very nice in. <laughs> And that is Nolan Cassidy taken care of. Both targets are confirmed killed. All that remains now is to find the information we came for, and then get out of here. My son's got... We tried to have One of Janus's old microfilms. It might contain important information. All you need... ...now is to find a device to read it on. Surveillance in the attic. Bring the tapes over the way. What?
I'm sorry, sir. I can't let you... Clearly, Janus is a meticulous man. This microfilm contains a lot of heavily redacted minutes from what appears to be a yearly event of some sort. Plenty of initials and project code names that don't ring any bells. Janus is mentioned by name throughout, however. This is a very important find, 47. reading, but it looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. The new Cassandra Snow novel, maybe. Slivers of past shimmers, or something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. 
No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. It's got to be something from the old man's archives. Oh. If that's one of Janus's his diaries, it might contain some important information about his past. Our past. Or maybe something that can help us locate the constant. in the head? Have you completely lost your mother? Jeez. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Janus has many diaries. He's apparently been the chairman of the Ark Society for years. He stepped down very recently, but is still attached to the Society. Well, 47, this is valuable information. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the Constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. Society. One of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite. Billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted. No names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You're right. It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but... Like it happened to someone else. <laughs> your gift and your curse. What they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes. Found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it. Janus is dead. Lucas Gray is about to join him 
and a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take- No, there is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, madam. Here's to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb, only to find out he's a Providence operative. I've been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Surrey, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing, having a conscience. Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the ship before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have coming.
The Isle of Scale. Headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. with the donation bowl. Well, once the bowl is full, the money is set on fire. 
symbolizing how survival. The great thing about him is that all the food is like children. Pasta, pizza, and whatnot. Our kids chosen love. I always went to Germany because it's like considered a safe place. Sat on the kid. They say it belonged to Montezuma himself. It was lost for over 500 years until Blake Nathaniel unsealed the serpent's tomb. Extraordinary. It's necklace. Anyway, the Washington Twins found him first. The way I hear it, Sophia literally has the necklace in her hand when Nathaniel propels her. See, it triggers this ancient death trap and, you know, murder and mayhem ensues. But. I thought those two were lovers. Oh, no, no. Currently way off, which explains the added security. I don't follow. Think about So, according to its charter, the Ark Society collects priceless art and historical artifacts in case of a global disaster. And this year, world-famous treasure hunter Blake Nathaniel has donated an Aztec necklace called the Cloud Serpent. Why the need for an alarm system where all filthy rich exist? I see. Blake thinks Sophia might try and steal back the name that was sealed in the Ark of the Legacy. Good grief. What are one of these not Hmm. Alarm sensors. You'll need to disable the system to get at the necklace, 47.
up and running. Excuse me, sir. Sir, hope you're well. Hello there. That's him. The Constant. Providence's top controller. Everything depends on capturing him alive. Somebody help me! Get the package out of here! Reading 555. Smooth, 47. The Sparrow's got nothing on you. Inside the royal scepter of Montezuma. The only problem was the scepter, which was stolen by Cortez's troops after the fall of Tenochtitlan, now belonged to Esteban Montoya and the Moreno drug cartel. They say that was. Uh, <laughs> How are you this evening, sir? Anyway, that was only the beginning. Spiders, death trap. Wow. Is it true you stole the necklace right from under their noses? Not to mention, I earn it. I actually solved those damn puzzles, rather than just see for my way through them. No and Sophia have no respect for the crown, or, or for ancient architecture. Still, Sophia's one hell of a woman. Ah, uh, yes. That must be hard. The rivalry. <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, love and war, miss. Love and war.
What am I looking at? Why? That's the... Why? But... It's gone. It can't be with the alarm. Expertly disabled, I assume. But... There was someone here the whole time. Besides, stealing from the Order? No Ark member would be so foolish or disrespectful. Or patrons, neither. Maybe one of the custodians took it to be polished, or... Oh, no, no, no. I know exactly what happened. Or who happened. You do? Who's the culprit? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. All right, I'll take care of this. Back to work. Or whatever the hell it is you do around here. Man? Yeah, I'm gonna need some backup over in the gallery. We've had a situation. That is Zoe Washington, chairwoman of the Ark Society, professional treasure hunter, and Providence operative. Quite a mouthful. Greetings, sir. That is Sophia Washington, chairwoman of the Ark Society, professional treasure hunter, and Providence Sophia. operative. Sophia. Quite the resume. I almost didn't recognize you without a knife in my back. I messed up. I see that now. Can we talk? <laughs> this should be good. Follow me. Enjoy your night. Excellent, 47. Let's give Sophia her heart's desire, shall we? I did wrong by you, Sophia. I see that now, and I want to make amends. Here, this is rightfully yours. Well, well. Look who comes crawling back. 
leave us. You know, we lost three men because of you. Wickus was crushed by a rolling boulder. Jaco fell into a pit trap. And Zoe and me, we only escaped the arrows by using one of the local guides as a human shield. But this is a nice gesture. It doesn't even begin to make amends. I know. May I? Fine. But not too tight. You know, I thought about sending the boys after you. Grab the necklace and cut your... One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Zoe Washington. You know what it's Good about. Evening to you. Change. Sophia Washington is trying to persuade James's original five to embrace the green revolution. Hello, sir. I'm not shortly. I have some of the world's most prominent preservation specialists getting their last respect. Speak. I have the star of the Prague Philharmonic on stage, ready to play the delightful British show. It's Ave Maria on the harp, for God's sake. Going on display in the art of legacy like that. Like a wax statue. My team received no never mentioned anything of the sort. You sure they didn't give you a great number? I assure you, his last will not give me a great number. I was told that these people would have to ask our control. Fine, fine. But I already know. See that you do. And when you do find it, into the tower basement where the founder's body's being kept. As we know, Zoe Washington will host Janus's wake. But now it seems an antique ceremonial dagger, which Janus is supposed to wear during the service, 
has gone missing from storage. I suggest you locate the disputed dagger 47. For pressure. Just what I need. Is the interview room ready? Just about, Madam Chairwoman. Equipment set up. shipment of scrolls from Jordan. That fool Jackson almost ruined them in the lab because he wanted to take a quick leap. This time we can't make any mistakes. It doesn't make sense to me. We're running a multi-billion operation here, but we can't get a decent pair of damn inspection gloves. Sorry, sir. I'm afraid this area is staff only. The thing about scrolls is that they're so... You make one mistake and they turn to dust in your hands. It's a joke. How can we... <laughs> Day to you, sir.
freeze it to death up here. Session? No, they've called a recess. Sophia Washington wants them to pass some kind of motion, but one of the council members is fighting her tooth and nail. Huh. Wouldn't happen to be Jebediah Flock, the coal bearer. Via the schemer. What's she up to this time? You know that Kronstadt designer in charge of the program? Sure. What did he do? I don't know. Fine. She may be really interested in this invention. Something called a kill switch. Whatever it is she's plotting, she's not going to be part of it. But. Stop. Say the word. Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? Sir, I'm you're sorry. Good. Well, now don't show yourself you around here anymore. My head's huh? off too comfortable. Arctic sanctuary. While the rest of civilization falls into chaos. Let me know if I met a cyst at all. You know, that thug Delgado had a really impressive collection of bodies. More where that came from, cry baby! Target is fist fighting! Watch your fire! Glad rip! I wish I had known you in life. I believe we would have 
had such a conversation. Say what? What the hell are you doing? Let me see your hands. Threat! We're all set. Cue the music. Thank you all for coming. As Janus's successor, it, it falls upon me to say a few words. I'll keep it brief, for there is little I can say that does the man justice. Janus was our founder, and like all true visionaries, he was far ahead of the curve. While we, the privileged class, were blissfully toasting the end of history, Janus saw the writing on the wall. As a veteran of the Cold War, Janus knew better than anyone that when true disaster strikes, the rich are as damned as everyone else, unless we work together. Janus never got to see the collapse, but died peacefully in his sleep. And yet, what he started in 1991 will one day be hailed as the dawn of a new age, one where the best among us can thrive uninhibited. This is Janus's legacy. Long live his memory. And now, you are welcome to pay the Founder your last respects. You should know. People are 
so long, old man. People always are. You had a better run than most. And I am most successful spy in modern history. Oh, and that whole Jasper Knight incident was just... He died the way he lived. Anyway, let's leave enjoy your that. rest. You've earned it. Sophia taking over. Fought us tooth and nail, but a fat lot of good it did you. Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the Constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you better bring the Constant to the harbor where it's less crowded. You can hijack one of the Archean boats. Question is how? He's not likely to come quietly. Unless you get your hands on a kill switch. Yes, that might just work. Search one of the twins, 47. Mr. Edwards, still think this is maintenance. Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. 
Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you are so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet, something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one, Miss Burnwood, is untouchable.